Hello, my friends. Happy holidays. It's been a while <laughs> since we have talked. Last time you saw Jacques and I, what were we doing, Jacques? We were eating some very hot peppers. In the corn maze. And as you can see, it's looking a little sparse right now. So it's time to chop it down, build out a new little plot, and honestly, see how many ears of corn we have. So Jacques, I have to say, we've talked about it a lot. The corn maze didn't do that well. But honestly, let's reserve judgment because <laughs> yeah. there's quite a few ears in here and I want to see how many we actually have and we're probably going to end up making something out of the corn. Yeah, I mean, at least we got corn. We, we maybe corn. didn't get the maize, but we definitely got the corn. Let's remind <laughs> everyone the varieties. Bloody Butcher. <laughs> yeah, there's Bloody Butcher and Oaxacan Green. And both of these are like basically solid flower corns or dent corns. That I mean, this like is like one. dry, you yeah. know? Yeah, this is crazy. This is all the way dry. It's really a stunning corn. It's quite beautiful, if I have to say so You know so what's myself. nice is, is getting it this dry, Jacques, all the nonsense from like the corn. Yeah, exactly. Top, you don't have to deal with that squishy nonsense. It's just like, pop, it's gone. Oh, wow, this one's bad. <laughs> oh, this <laughs> is one of the, <laughs> the pollination, pollination. The pollination on this one's garbage. But that was not pretty bad. stuff. But you know what's weird is look at the like, the kernel pattern. It's not I like know, straight up in I a know. row. It's sort I of curled around. I don't know if that's normal or not, but it's certainly more normal <laughs> than this one here. <laughs> Let's so, see if we can find some green ones too. Yeah, yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this all down. We'll decide what we end up doing with the stalks. Maybe we can kind of use them for some decor or some trellises or something. Maybe just compost them out. And then this is going to get turned into a big square. And it's kind of up to us later what we decide to build with it. Yeah, we definitely have some cool ideas. It'll be a little secret, maybe reveal it a little later, but... You have to stay tuned to Epic Homesteading, my friends. All right, let's chop this down, Jacques. <laughs> You're just gonna rip it out? I, I feel like that's probably the move. It's probably gonna be easy. These roots. <laughs> Looks like we got a little <laughs> cross pollination. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> maybe we want to leave those in there. Look, I'm not weak, guys. I actually exerted about a thousand pounds of force. <laughs> To get that out of the ground but dude i mean look feel this thing this is like oh that's that's, that's wood this ain't dead yet i'll tell you that much oh but look look at that worm oh my god dude there's a bunch of them look at those worms this is a good yeah. sign then let's chop and let's leave those roots in because we're going to be swoop swooping this compost over anyways and we now know in the rhizosphere guys the area where the roots are the zone under the soil where the roots exist Especially with corn, I think, because remember we talked about the brace roots on one of those yeah. episodes? It, they didn't seem to dig in though, huh? They kind of just sat on the surface. But remember we learned that you can actually, for a little bit of that sweet, sweet <laughs> glucose. Did you get it? Uh, no, nah, no, nah, these are too old. <laughs> you got to do it when they're young. That's salty. It's corny though. It's a little corny. <laughs> it's got a little bit of corn. But what I'll say is, clearly, the worms appreciate that. Yeah. There's probably some sort of exudate, which is called something that comes out of the root to sort of excrete that attracts the life and we have proof now so let's just leave it yeah and it's then the example. worms will break the war help break the roots down and feed the soil yeah It'll just be better overall so i'm gonna get some loppers so i can start cutting at the bottom Perfect. instead of instead of ripping i'm gonna show off this corn really quick so this is the other one this is the oaxacan green and actually what's really interesting is it looks like we got some cross pollination because when corn gets pollinated every single silk produces one kernel and so this particular kernel probably got pollinated by another yellow corn because otherwise it should be totally green like the rest of it. So it's a pretty neat little example of cross-pollination happening directly in the corn in my hand right here. All right, I got my lopper, Jacques. So snap and then chop. Yeah, I think snap chop. Yeah, good old snap chop. Reminds me of the slap chop. Remember that guy? <laughs> yeah, actually I do. Oh, there's a good one. Yo, is it neon season? Like what is this? <laughs> this looks incredible. That's so cool. Look at how like indented the is that what yeah. they call it, dent corn? I think, think so, yeah. It is. I believe, I mean. Hey, competition. Yeah. Who's going to harvest the most aesthetic one? <laughs> it's because you already found the best one. I don't know. I just thought of it right now. <laughs> I just thought it might be fun to compete. Oh my. This is, okay. That one's a little bit. I don't know if this that deserves. One's not a keeper. This one doesn't deserve to go into the pile. That one's, that one's solid though. Oh yeah. That's not bad. I see you didn't decide to bring mine back into the pack. No, I'm going to leave it out because I feel like it's, um, you know, it's not regulation. <laughs> Wow, I pulled some really bad ones. Okay, I'm leaving those. You know, I don't think that one germinated very well. Doesn't say, oh, that one, let me leave that one on the ground. It's kind of fresh. Well, we probably pulled some of these, but some of them, I'm like, where's the ears? Know. You know, where are the ears? I'm like, did the bird take it? Like, we know that the fig eater beetles ate a lot of these. Remember? Oh, right. 
Because when we came in that one day, there was like a hundred thousand right. just sitting here. Yeah, and you've given a lot of this to your chickens too, so. I probably fed about 20 ears to the chickens. Yeah. Which is a great use, honestly, for the dent corn. Yeah. That didn't turn out that well. Honestly, ones that had the corn worms in them, even better. Yeah, a little extra protein. A little extra protein. Whoa, look at these guys though. What's that? Oh, it's the Katie Dids? A lot of Katie Dids. Dude. They're so big. They're and so looking. big. Hold on, let's capture one. Because they, they love to jump. They are jumping. Ah! <laughs> there he is. No, no, there's one here. Look at this guy. He Honestly, it's like a more badass grasshopper. Yeah. It's just a cooler grasshopper. And they're like net beneficial overall. Look at that booty though. Look at that like. I don't know what, there's something. It whoop. turns up. Yeah. Something Turn up on. for what? I think I got the winner right here. You think so? How about this? Tell me, tell me how this feels. Let me, let me feel it. <laughs> feels intact. Yeah. Feels intact. I think, uh, let's see. Let's see. Watch this be all mold. <laughs> oh, that's not that's bad at all. <laughs> okay, that's good. That's big. That's big. <laughs> you know what's crazy too? That's is the biggest the corn I've seen. The one I harvested was only the red color. Yeah. You have this black sort of ear inside or kernel inside. It's like girthy and also it's like what? It's quite substantial for corn. This is mine. This is Kevin's. Let me know who the winner is. You can win on your own channel. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, this was the your first stock we cut. Yeah. This thing is just, it's like a javelin. Honestly, it's got Honestly, the jiggle. How far, how far do you think I could throw it? <laughs> I think you could probably get 20 feet. Whee. Oh my God. It's thick with worms. That's crazy. They're, they're like, Check it out guys. Look at these guys. Tons of big old worms. I accidentally raked this one out, so I'll probably just cut it off, throw it back in. But it's a good sign for spreading the compost on and planting something else out here next season. Look at this. Oh my God. <laughs> Dude, check oh it out. Oh my this. God. That's a big boy caprice right there. Look at that thing. <laughs> Look at this one, dude. Look at this one. Hold on, get, get back out here, fool. Look at that. That's mother Dude, hen. I could feel it moving That's on That's mother hen right there. Man, there's a lot of these. I almost want to let the hens out. A little free range? I'm a little tempted. It's tempting. You think? It's hard, like the containment. I kind of want to try. All right. Okay, one of you girls, letting, the first um, one to come out. I'm letting the first one to, whoever, to exit. Whoever makes it. It's lab. so funny. I think it's Lav. There we oh, go. She did it. Okay, Lav. Oh, no, no, no. Poppy's here. Poppy's here for you. About to go on an adventure. Say hello to Uncle. Hey, Uncle Jay. All right, let's see what let's see what she does. This is that dude. This is actually a genius idea because you spread it out. We know that those fig eater beetles larvae love to lay in here. Yep. If you spread it out effectively, maybe none will be less than a couple inches deep. So they should get surfaced and yeah. then they should just mow them down. Don't you think? Looks like they're going for the greens. I will say, lobster is the most aesthetic hen that we have right now. Yeah. Because she's she's not molting. Oh, That right. beautiful colors is coming in. Butter and, and lab are a little frazzled. And uh, Rufio's having a a thin a thin era. <laughs> <laughs> Rufio's having a little she's bit of a thin small. She is. In general, she's the smallest hen yeah. for sure. There we go. That's what I want to see. Let me uh, lean back on the rake here. I'm going to grab a beer. <laughs> <laughs> Just watch these ladies go to town. Oh, look at them. Gucci and lobster. This is awesome. That's high speed. That's awesome. Dude, Lava is so fluffy. It's she's so, so fluffy, funny. Yeah. She's more fluffy than Gucci. Way more fluffy. And she's not broody. Like, you know, they can flip their, their feathers up and puff up. She's not <laughs> yeah. doing that. She's just, that's how she is. You know what I'm actually really curious about? Because sundown's in a couple hours. Mm -hmm. If so, they'll know. Uh, to go back because if they they probably will you know what Mine i do let's experiment let's see if they actually yeah. will know because they've never been outside right so do they know where it is i'm sure they must 
So the hens are doing the rest of the work right now. I think what we'll let them do is just run through here until sundown, see if they make their way back to the coop. If this is a thing, Jacques, maybe we just You're do this. Yeah, I'm so ready for it. <laughs> let us know what you think we should grow here. Until next time, good luck in the garden and keep on growing. And if you're still watching right now, while you are watching this, we have a promotion going on, our Black Friday sale on the store, guys. You know, that's pretty much how we are supported here at Epic Gardening is purchasing the products that we stock in the store. So we're doing a buy $500 worth of gear, get a free $100 gift card that you can use at any point in the future, maybe for next spring. So stock up, link in the description, and thank you so much for supporting Epic. This is mine, this is Kevin's.